Hey guys, today we are gonna be making a hard front wig look more natural. So when it comes to this method in particular, there are a couple of things that you can see right off the bat when it comes to this wig. Another thing that is super obvious is the height I have on this wig. This is sticking up off of my forehead and it looks crazy. It's not gonna look natural like this and this method is really going to solve this problem instantly. You really only need a few things for this tutorial. It's a super easy method. It's just a little scary. So the first and most important thing you're gonna need is a pair of scissors. You wanna make sure these are super sharp. I like to use haircutting scissors or craft scissors. Those are gonna be your best option. You also wanna make sure you have a wig brush. I always recommend mine, but any wig brush you have is going to work. You're gonna to have to brush out a lot of this hair that you're gonna be cutting off and pulling it away from this wig. So make sure you've got a good wig brush with you. The last thing you wanna grab is your flat iron. I like this one because it has a low temp. It's got a fan in it and I can really get into the spot I wanna go with how short the barrel is. All right, guys, I'm gonna remind you yet again, make sure your wig is heat safe if you are doing this method to it. If it isn't, you can use a steamer instead. So the first thing you're gonna do is put this wig onto your wig head inside out. I like to kind of pin it down too, just so it's not moving. You don't have to worry about it flying off your wig head. I have had that happen so many times. So grab yourself something to secure it onto that wig head and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing I like to do is take my scissors and cut into this. And I know that can sound really scary and intimidating, but it's gonna be okay. Usually these hard front wigs aren't super expensive. And if you have one that you absolutely love, don't do this on that wig. Go get one that's super cheap from somewhere else and practice this first. It really is super easy, but the cutting is going to be the scariest part. So I'm gonna go ahead right there where that hair is flipped under and I wanna cut that down and then across so that I can get that rubber piece flipped out. I really wanna see how much of that I have, how much we have to work with, and then we can go from there. When you cut into this, depending on the construction of your hard front wig, there might be a couple layers. You really don't wanna get past the layer that is protecting the knots that are in that rubberized scalp. So if you see this kind of mesh, thin lace type area that you're seeing on this wig, you wanna stop there. You're really only trying to get that rubber out so you can cut it off and really line it up with the rest of the hairline. Really lining that up with the rest of that cap on my head so that it's not sticking out any further, but it is looking much, much flatter. You can already tell a huge difference now that we've gotten rid of that extra hair. All right, and for this last step, you're gonna to wanna to grab your flat iron. Once you have your flat iron, take it and put it in between the rubberized scalp and lightly press down. You really wanna do this at the lowest temperature that your flat iron goes to and always make sure that your wig can handle the heat. If you're unsure, grab a spray bottle of water. Helping kind of spray that area down is going to protect the fibers of the wig. As you're doing this, you're gonna to start to feel that rubber kind of warm up. And this is when I really like to take my hands and smooth out the area onto the wig head. This is gonna help reshape that scalp area and really kind of make it look a little bit flatter, a little smoother, and a little bit more seamless. So once you've got this wig on your head, you wanna go ahead and grab your wig brush and brush through it. Make sure you get all of the extra little hairs. We cut a bunch of hair out of this wig, so there's going to be hairs that are still kind of hanging out in there that you gotta get rid of. Once you've got this looking the way you want to, the last little step that I usually do is I'll go ahead and grab something to kind of adjust the part line to match my skin tone. There are a couple different ways you can do this. You can do it with concealer, you can do it with powder, you can do it with root spray or any type of alcohol-based marker like a Sharpie. This is just gonna add to the overall appearance and the more natural look to your wig. All right, so this is the finished result. Let me know what you guys think. As you can see, this is drastically different and it really is an instant gratification type of hack, which I absolutely love. This is gonna lay so much flatter and look so much more natural on your head.